hello friends welcome to this video in this video I will show you how to create a bucket in S3 so in S3 this is the S3 dashboard if you go to the services and search for S3 you will be redirected to a page which would look like this if you check the URI you would see it contains the home region that is the home and a variable called region which would be set by default to the nearest region of AWS S3 service is a global service it is not region specific however when you create your uh, entities be it bucket or when you upload your files you can specify which region it belongs to now to create a new bucket you will just click create bucket now this bucket name should be unique across the you can say complete AWS universe if you type test okay you have to specify the region now one bucket can be created in one region okay so I will specify the nearest region for the better latency purposes second setting is to allow public access now by default AWS has now providing this configuration to block all the public access I will keep it like this third you can select the versioning option so versioning means when you change the file there would be an older version already in uh, you can say saved which can be easily uh, recovered once there is any problem so with versioning you can easily recover unintended user actions and application failures so it means it will save a copy of your previous versions as well I will click enable you can add a tag for you can say your own reference now to enable server side encryption you can select enable here and the encryp encryption key type you can specify here right now I will keep it disable and if you click on advanced settings it will specify object lock Now object lock means that the file or the bucket that you are going to create would be write once read many or means it it's kind of uh, readable file only you cannot remove it or you cannot delete it so I will just keep it disable and I will click on create bucket now you will get this error because this bucket name would already be created this should be unique across AWS so I will just type okay so it will give you this notification that successfully created buckets now you can see you have the bucket name the region which it is attached to and access buckets and objects not public and then the creation date so in this way you can create a bucket in a very simple way thanks for watching this video Go try it, uh, try it out and provide your feedback. Have a great day.